by Mr. Kostar Deshmukh Fortinet for his address on a collaborative defense approach. So can we invite him on stage with a huge round of applause, please. So good afternoon, everyone. Uh, and uh, good to see you all here. Uh, my first time to present at DSCI. So uh, happy to be here. Thank you, DSCI, for inviting Fortinet. So over the next 15 minutes, uh, I'm going to talk about our strategy, what we are thinking of. Uh, but let me take you back a couple of decades before I go and take you to the future. We all have gone through this, right? Most of us, everyone, right, sitting here. This was a classroom where the first lesson that was taught to us was to hide your creation. I write your exam like this, right? When we became entrepreneurs after this, what happened? We all created independent individual security products not talking to each other. How many of you know how many booths are there outside? I don't know whether you've gone through those. But there are 22 independent security vendors sitting outside. This is from RSA, where there are 528 who are presenting their uh, products at RSA on different technologies, and probably no one was talking to each other. For customers like you, this is a bigger problem to solve. How many OEMs? Every security OEM solves one problem. Right? A new tool comes in, a new shiny uh, silver bullet comes out, and you say, okay, I'm going to kill this particular problem with this bullet. It doesn't work that way. We used to talk of three things, PPT, People Process Technology, and CIA, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Today, the world has to move towards CCC. Okay? It is going to be convergence, it is going to be consolidation, and it is going to be collaboration. If you don't have these three Cs, your security will never be complete. My name is Kaustub Deshmukh. Um, most of you would know me as KD. And um, with uh, Fortinet for around three odd years. Very happy to present our company two slides. And then maybe I'll take you through the CCCs, what we think about. Um, a company with 22 years of experience. The founders still work with us, Kenzie and Michael Z as a CEO and a CTO. Uh, we have more than 660,000 customers worldwide, uh, revenue billing of 5.5 billion, and a market cap of 50 plus billion. Are the credentials on the finance side? You, most of you are from the finance side. You would see in the small um, font, it is written, we are a standard and S&P 500 company. You know what it takes to become an S&P 500 company. We are the only security company in S&P 500. What it means, one parameter which I would like to share with you, is we need to be profitable, not quarter after quarter, not year after year. We need to be a profitable company month after month in the year. And that's how you get into S&P 500. So we're the only company, we're the only cybersecurity company who is in S&P 500. The lower bottoms, where I would like to stress upon two things. One is we invest a lot into our own products. We have more than 1,900 patents on our name. We invest almost a billion on our ASICs. What it means is we manage our supply chain vertically. We make our own products, we make our own OS, and we also invest in our own ASICs. This is why most of our customers, rather none of our customers, faced an issue of deliveries during the pandemic where people were, or rather OEMs were delivering within six months, eight months. We never crossed a 90-day mark. So this is what Fortinet brings to the table. The next data point is from IDC 2022. The highest number of firewalls shipped were from Fortinet. And this was possible only because we manage our own supply chain. We manage the vertical integration within our product. Coming to my presentation now about uh, the consolidation and collaboration. Well, charity begins at home, right? So our products, we first thought that we should be integrating with our own products. There are many OEMs today available in the market who do not, who have individual products, but they do not talk to each other, right? So consolidation, collaboration, and convergence. Where collaboration started, it started with us. We thought of integrating our own products and making them talk to each other. You will see on the right-hand side, on this, you will see resources everywhere on the cloud, okay? And the entities anywhere. How we could get this together was the bottom layer of the, of the one that you can see in the red. This is where the 40 gates started. This is where we built our first 
core on where the operating on the operating system everything started getting consolidated and now all our products talk to each other so the charity begins at home we first did our fabric integration within our own products this is the 40 os the most uh, prominent single operating system we started 1.0 today we are on 7.4.x uh, in 22 years all our products be it secure networking or only security the platforms we integrate them all of them in one single operating system where does this particular part of convergence come into convergence comes into play where you're looking at the security products on prem and services on cloud being delivered together is the sweet spot where you will see most of the people talking about the sasi the universal sasi the ztnas this is where the sweet spot comes into and this is where we think convergence plays the biggest role and that's where we are going to hit very very hard so consolidation convergence collaboration as i said collaborate with our own products converge within the cloud and on prem and then when you look at uh, the three key pillars that we see okay one is digital experience uh, i'll come to the products on that uh, the cyber security platforms and the ot security i know this is the finance event you will say why ot has been uh, spoken about but i'm sure a couple of you who have come by a metro from andheri uh um, to this place or rather um, from ghatkopar to andheri the metro signals that you passed by have an ot security firewall a ruggedized firewall your life doesn't change otherwise right so you have to go through the ot security either ways but of course not for this particular discussion we are looking at uh, security into three different platforms uh, as i said the secure networking and all now this is a very key slide where i would like to spend a couple of minutes this is a journey that you as customers have to embark on it is not a day's job that tomorrow switch on and switch off i'll go to a platform no it doesn't happen that way you will have to commit to oems i'm not saying only us okay you have to commit to oems who have a strategy to consolidate their own products their own technologies it will move only in that direction if at all you commit yourself to oems who are not going to be fly by nights who are not going to be coming and giving you a point product and going away you will have to look at and we are not saying you, you, you remove all the production only by fortin it it will never work life doesn't work that way right so this is where you will have to look at from vendors point products to some vendors who are trying to drive towards the platform and then few platforms in your organization and that is what exactly gartner also said last year gartner published the mesh architecture what does mesh mean you are trying to integrate uh, and share um, your rules policies uh, data threat intel this is what gartner said last year right this is the mesh architecture what gartner published fortinet was doing it in its own fabric maybe 3 years back so maybe 2019 is where we were looking at fabric and 2022 is where gartner came out with the mesh so we are there we are talking of integrating of cloud integration of on prem integration of endpoints coming together this is how it looks at, it used to look on one side where everyone was talking to the particular uh, sim that they had it was like the umbrella center point where everyone was getting consolidated but doesn't work that way you had to share intel and information with the other parallel products also and this is where the platform approach comes into play you will see four different colors there so by and large four platforms is what you can uh, actually survive with enough of charity at home how do we do with the others okay uh, your investments that are there in oems that you have already bought a couple of products with we can't say that leave everything and just come to us again life doesn't work that way it, uh, i'll be in a lala land to say that you know leave everything and come to fortinet no we have fabric connectors uh the number 3 and number 4 are something that are important that i'm going to touch upon more uh we have fabric connectors uh which talk to multiple oems the number 3 the devops is where we are doing the community based development on the cloud so we have opened the platforms and number 4 is very very important because here we collaborate with our own competitors can i ever say i'll be i'll be a foolish person saying that no palo alto will never survive in this world it will be only for it no it will not happen like that right we will have to survive together right so our integrations are open for our competitors also and we do integrate with them on multiple counts so the third and the fourth point here we do open up our apis we do open up 
our platforms to integrate with the other technologies also. We also do some part um, on the training front, which is something very important for you all to know. Uh, we, need, we, we plan to have a million certified resources by 2026. Uh, here you will see three platforms, or other three um, key things. One is the academies, where we are looking at um, 135 countries and 450 plus um, uh, academies who are tied up with us, where we teach people about Fortinet. We are also, uh, not in India as of now, but we are planning to, we are also working with the armed forces, uh, retired personnel, the veterans, where we can coach them and their spouses, their kids probably, uh, who can look up at cybersecurity. And of course, the education program, the outreach program that uh, we do every time. Uh, this is one slide I would like to leave you with. Uh, this is my second last slide. Uh, we are there in uh, eight magic quadrants. We're there in um, six market, uh, nine market guides. Okay? We are also covered by Forrester in multiple six waves, if I'm not wrong. Forrester six waves is covered. So the gardeners, the foresters, the IDCs cover us end to end. So we are there in all the quadrants that you require to be qualified. Some of you who come from the public sector side, they require, or probably you know, even some private sector organizations, they require, OK, if you are in um, uh, Gartner, then only you are allowed to bid for a project. So we're there in uh, uh, 37 analyst reports. And uh, the last slide. If you see him somewhere, do collaborate with him. Don't hide your creations. Messages to the customers as well as to the OEMs in the hall. So thank you, everyone, and I leave the stage. Thank you, Mr. Kautistov. Uh, there you go, highlighting convergence, talking about collaboration, talking about the constructs and context that exist in the world that we're operating today in context of cybersecurity.